I keep seeing people speeding and running red lights. Do not even try to hide it with those flashing lights and loud noises. When will the authorities do something about it? Somebody could get hurt. Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. My goodness, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Um, but here we are with a, a brand new DLC, can you believe it, called Speedy Recovery, which we'll get into very shortly. Um, but there's a couple of other bits I wanted uh, to cover first. Superbug, which we can see up here in the corner. Um, there have been uh, seven Superbugs, I believe, in the time that Two Point Hospital has been running, and lots of you have missed Superbug items. Well, the good folks at Two Point Studios have made all the items available to you, and this is how you can get them. Go to twopointhospital.com and sign up. Simply link this with your steam account you will need to allow access but it's absolutely fine because once you have done that it will download not only the golden toilet suite if you haven't already got that but all of the superbug items that there have ever been yes um so if you have missed any superbug items uh, be sure to go and do that to enjoy all of them dear hospital administrator well hey there i don't suppose you've heard of little old me pit crew mechanic we don't usually make headlines but i've heard of you and i think we could help each other out you see with the weather being how it is lately, I've been seeing all these boring so-called ambulances driving the streets and I can't help but think I could make something more exciting and dynamic. You know, really mix it up, the whole emergency response scene. <laughs> all I need is some wheels, some engine oil and a dream. A right and a hospital so the patients have somewhere to go that's your department so here's the deal you run the hospital and i build you a fleet of the best ambulances you have ever seen deal gretchen gearbox <laughs> fantastic let's continue wow god it's been a long time since we've been here hasn't it it's been a long time since since we've been here look at it it's two point county <laughs> we love good old two point county don't we yes we do yes we do that looks like i'm shaking my head no no we don't <laughs> no we do we i can't yes yes there we go right okay good look here we are in the city um oh god do you remember all this oh look oh look oh back at chasm yeah <laughs> um good Wow, it's good seeing uh, Smogly being my favourite as well uh, as my favourite hospital. So, just because my doctor's there, uh, Dr. B. Pepper, that's my character, everyone. <laughs> that's the only reason I like Smogly. Right, okay. So, what have we got here? Look at all this. <gasps> Speedy recovery. So, we've got three hospitals to get ourselves through. Um, so, compete with rival hospitals to respond to emergencies with your ambulances. We can do that. And this is the first one here. Look, ailing. Learn the basics of emergency response in the big city. Good. Um, <laughs> this is going to be such a mess. This this DLC is so wildly different. It's a whole new way of playing the game. It's, it's amazing. The city is suffering from adverse weather conditions, which is causing all sorts of emergency situations, in addition to those caused by the general clumliness, <laughs> clumsiness <laughs> of Two Point County residents. First, let's build an ambulance. That sounds simple enough. Look, we've got... Look at this, right, I'm just going to pause. We have ourselves an ambulance bay. Look at this. Look at this. So, first of all, what do we like to do? We like to look at the map because they make such fantastic maps, don't they? Look at this. Look at these. They it, it definitely... Oh, look at the trees blowing in the wind. <laughs> nice. But the water in the fountain, completely un, unfazed by it all. Oh, what's... This looks like they play sports here or something. It's a bit confusing. Um, so we've got, look, our underground where they no doubt come out. Uh, look, we've got a, an old ambulance here. God, very retro car park. Everybody's left their lights on. Everybody's parked with their lights on. Flat batteries for everyone. <laughs> I like these big puddles here. Big old puddles. You know, oh, look, lollipop crossings, you know, zebra crossings here. It's not every day you see these anymore. This is—I uh, used to see these a lot when I was a kid, but today don't see. No, quite, quite rare. 
Okay, good. Right, and here is our hostel. Oh, look, I like this. I like these, look. Nice, look at this. Ambulance station three. So we're seeing... Oh, so we might be able to put more ambulance. Oh, look, yeah. So lots of ambulance bays here. That's fantastic. Ooh, look. Is that... That's the, um, the drink, right? <clears throat> Which I've forgotten the name of. How terrible is that? <laughs> Let's, uh, what on earth? That one, that's it. Pulpitation, that's the one. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's been a long time since I thought about pulpitation. Right. And look, and we've got this garage where they work. Look at the, the tools. I like this. The only thing that stayed there, the thing I'm looking at. And then we do have <clears throat> a hospital over here. Very small, isn't it? Very small hospital. Oh, look. Look. Gretchen Gearbox. Here she is. Genius mechanic. Allows the janitor to, to service ambulances. So we've got a new training course here, everybody. Got a new tra training course. Got 200,000 um, doubloons. Uh, we also have this thing. Um, the battery level changes on this constantly throughout. Love it. Two, two point nav. <laughs> we'll get into that, won't we? We'll get into that. First of all, it said to buy an ambulance. So we're going to click on here. And what we have here is a compliant Colin. Cheap and cheerful. Well, one of those. It's one of those. It's definitely cheap. Um, so can't seem to... I can't... I was wondering if I could spin it round. I don't think I can. It is going this way by the looks of it. So there it is. Assign an ambulance to an emergency. Your new compliant Colin ambulance is ready to roll. Click on the sat nav icon to bring up the emergency map. I hate that, to bring up. That's disgusting. <laughs> to just vomit it up onto the screen. <laughs> um, yes. I hate it when people say bring up. Click on the sat nav to view. Okay, let's do that. Here it is. Look, we've got look, we've got us. That's us, right? Holistics is up here, and uh, Bungle Meditech. <laughs> Isn't Holistics got the guy that's always vomiting? My first emergency. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, Macbeth Towers. Look, we're getting we're getting locations. I'm loving this. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I've been having trouble with it the last few days. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, we've got a little key here. Dead. <laughs> oh, no. Dying. At risk. Alive. So we can see here, look, that we might have, what, three peeplings here to get. And two are alive, but one is at risk. I've got you. Collected. Only accessible by road. <clears throat> okay. And then we've got only accessible by air. Whoa. At severe. At severity. Severity. I'm not seeing severity here, are we? Uh, or is it just the one? Just the one severity. Uh, major emergency. We're on minor emergency. Got you. And then uh, res rescue. Okay. Oh, rescues are handled on site by your ambulances and don't deliver patients to your hospital. They are worth more for your emergency reputation. Interesting. Interesting. So we get like... Look, minor emergencies have lower severity and fewer patients. This is great. Somebody outside is mowing their lawn. It's really annoying. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Dispatch. Oh, no, we've got down to 17%. Uh, we've orchestrated <laughs> a relatively low-risk emergency with a few volunteers for you to get used to. Well, then what happened to this person? <laughs> My goodness. Right, assign. Okay, look, so we've assigned our Colin... Good. Ready to go, eh? Ready to go. What now, eh? So, oh, oh, hello. Here she comes. Nelly Muck. Look, so she's got driving training, allows a doctor or a nurse, or a nurse. That's interesting. So a nurse can go to, to drive to a road ambulance. So it can drive a road ambulance. Right, so we're going to be getting choppers, clearly, at some point, And then we're going to have a flying license. Oh, my God. Goodness, I'm so freaking excited. Will one of these become flying thingies? Who knows? Who knows? This is a good opportunity to take a look at what we've got going on here. Now, it's been a while since I've used these buttons, but it is cold, everybody. It is cold. Um, so actually, get rid of that. Get get rid of that. Right. Let's... I, I said... <laughs> I said... Right, rad. Here we go. Oh! 
You can now build cloud computing to treat under the weather patients. Oh, is this an illness? You're not the only hospital responding to emergencies in town. Holistics and Bungle Tech both have their own ambulance stations, which you'll be competing from now on. Wow. Oh, we can see them coming back. Look at this. <gasps> oh, that's quite a lot. We, I suppose we have to... Right, let's... Um, I know it's... You probably do... Well, I would say you do not have to keep pausing to do everything. But because I'm constantly talking, <laughs> um, my mind is divided. So we are just going to do a little bit of pausing here, there. And we're going to send... We're going to... We're going to grab this. We're going to assign this one. Now, I don't know, actually, if I have anybody that can drive this. So, while we're here, let's get the rads down. Right? Let's do what we were doing. Let's go big rad. Big rad. Let's just warm up the place a bit, right? Okay. Now, what staff do we have here? Yeah, so we've only got one that can actually drive. This is all staff. Look, we've got two doctors. So we've got a GP. So we've got Felix Dick. It's <laughs> an unfortunate name, isn't it? All right, Felix, how's it going? You're a GP, I see. So what we're going to do with you is we're just... Oops, I've picked you up in error. There we go. Don't burn yourself on the, on the radiator there. We're also going to assign you... Oh, look at this. To the compliant Colin. Right so that they're always driving good that's i'm pleased with that that's a good start okay what else have we got going on here so we have the receptionist um she seems all right doesn't she you know we're going to change her outfit uh, to the lemon love I've, I've always been a bit of a fan of the lemon <gasps> campus jacket <laughs> Oh, look, we've got little teasers here for Two Point Campus. Quick, let's come to the doctor. Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic. We got ourselves a campus. Look, look, and the... Oh, these are outfits from Two Point Campus. <laughs> look at that. That is the best. But yeah, I've also got Sonic and Tails from the uh, anniversary edition pack that was free to grab. There we go. Oh my goodness, our Groucho Marx glasses. This is the best. Bunny ears, which I make Blala wear sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's some great outfits here. Now, we also had ourselves a janitor, which is just Gretchen. We've just got Gretchen. Okay, so... That's fine. So she can keep everything spick and span. Let's let's go for it so up here cloud computing we need to build general diagnosis and cloud computing that's fine do you know what i am gonna do real quick though is redesign this room although it seems before i do um assign an ambulance to an emergency your ambulance is arriving back typo uh, at the hospital uh, the patients you collected have had some diagnosis already thanks to your staff and equipment on board the ambulance oh that's handy uh, they don't need uh, to go to reception or a gp so they can go straight oh that's great isn't it so they're arriving back this is where we need cloud computing which i've not actually built yet so they come out of it. This is great. This is great. Look at this thing. Once again, one Here they or are. two scaremongers in the press are criticizing Jumbo Corp. Okay, the but they do need some diagnosis. Okay, that's why we need to build general diagnosis. Let's get on it. Right, so I have built general diagnosis. Now, I've not been able to find an appropriate nurse. But she is a good nurse, right? Because she does have pharmacy skills here. So even though I couldn't find a, uh, a one with uh, diagnosis training, diagnostic training, we, she's still good, right? So we've got her in. I've also sorted this out a little bit, right? So we've got some entertainment going and uh, we've put a big uh, binny in and stuff like that. But what we need is this cloud computing. So let's have a look at cloud computing, shall we? cloud computing cures patients who are under the weather um they apply treatment where the sun don't shine <laughs> lovely right good <laughs> uh brilliant so now as you know i like to try and keep my treatment away from my uh 
diagnostics. Now this is a four by four room, which is this sort of size. Good, what is this now? <laughs> interesting, this is interesting. So we can see the patient's going to step into the front here and the, and the doctor is going to be using these things here. So let's, I think we might pop it there and we might actually move the door to here. I think is what we might actually do. Um, we might move this under there. Good. Right. And that seems that that's all that we need uh, for this room. But as you know, I like to, well, do things in rooms. For a start, I would like a plant. We need to get some more uh, janitors in, don't we? Um, to deal with that situation. So we need, oh yes, the fire extinguishers. Oh. <laughs> so there we are. Fire extinguisher there. And we would like the chair for the doctor to sit on to relax. Now the only thing I noticed that the other chair didn't have, although I usually like the chair to be by the radiator on cold uh, levels so that they can be warm. In addition to that, I like there to be one of those certificates above the chair so that when they sit down, they are enjoying the environment, right? Okay, so there, it, so there it goes. Also helps with the prestige, that one, uh, a lot. So let's see, what else have we got going on? Um, it's pretty good, yeah. So doctor will need something to eat and drink. This is true. So let's, yeah, pop those in so they can deal with those needs when they're idling, which they will probably be doing quite a lot of for a while. There we go. There's that. Um, that will do for now. I think that's pretty good. How warm though is that room? I don't know. Ooh. Major emergencies will often give you some idea of what illnesses to expect in their reports. So make sure to read them. We read everything here at blah blah. <laughs> Absolutely everything. Right. Oh, do we love the the wood slatted walls? Look, I've definitely gone for that sort of beach beach feel, haven't they? Brilliant. Oh, look, with the umbrella on the door. Under the weather. Lovely. She's being uh, shoved out. So how cold is this room? I think we're just about getting away with it there, aren't we? Just about getting away with it. Good. Um, we should probably stick a Benny um, outside, right? Definitely should be popping one of these down there um, with the notice board, right? We want a notice board. I can't live <laughs> without my notice board. There it is. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so they've got somewhere to wait. Now, we definitely need somebody to work in here. Oh, look, we can add extra staff to here. That's more of a wards and things that's weird isn't it that's unusual cloud computing improves the long-term forecast for patients who are under the weather um to improve cure rates blah de, blah de, blah it is definitely a doctor not surprised by that so let's come and have a look at doctors so oh look litterer which is not great <laughs> excuse me um so they have two treatment but this annoys me this motivation so i think we might go with marcy here bork <laughs> Believes the snack is called cheesy goblins. <laughs> mm. Okay, good. Let's pop her in there. Uh, we want her to be working here. Cloud computing, that's it. And to never leave... Oh, that's a point, actually. Let's go to policies. Overview. Policy. Let's reduce this down to 80. Fast track decisions, yes. So it helps reduce how many, how often they go to the GP. Staff can leave rooms, yes they can. Staff training messages, no. But promote them automatically, yes. Lovely, good. That's that done. Right. Let's have... Oh, so they can now go. Yes, they can now go. That's it, to general diagnosis. So we need to collect 100 emergency patients and we need to cure eight patients who are under the weather. Right, now we need to make sure they're coming in quickly, these patients, because of our cash flow. We can't, we can't hang around. So I think what I'm going to do is get this, this done now. 
I think what we need is plenty of people to be able to drive, right? We, we need people to drive. So, look, there's one. There is one right there. Um, I wonder, should we give them like a driving outfit? But what, what would that, what, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll do the campus outfit for the driving, yeah? I think so. At the urging of a there we go. Cramophile, I spent some time last night on something called Good. a forum, which what is this? Via computer, one of our patients, told, Sabrina Woodwind, has been sent to all of the diagnostic rooms. Seventy-three percent. Let's send send them for treatment. If we're going to do our drivers, that is all I will say then now. I will put the receptionist back in lemon. Yes, that's how I feel about this situation. In addition to this, what have we got here? So we can see, look, them going down here. We need to dispatch and dispatch up here. Oh, calm. Okay, <laughs> a little bit short. What is this? Here it is. We've discovered it officially now. Uh, localized meteorological me, me, uh, phenomena <laughs> first discovered in Fran Healy <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment in our cloud computing that's good okay where are we 73% that's absolutely fine by by me so we could do with getting a janitor in fact we could do with getting a few janitors to be honest oh look they're quite good they can do upgrades and they can deal with ghosts they've yeah, do you know what? They're actually a really good janitor. They're like our head janitor, right? They're, they are our head janitor. A head janitor needs... Yeah. Good. Somebody's died already. <laughs> so I'm thinking let's upgrade this, right? Yeah, not fair. Upgrade this. Um, right. Oh, look. We already need... As well. Right. Um, it's... The wheel's coming off already, everybody. So we've got another driver. Good. So that's three drivers now. So I'm happy with that situation. We are going to need this nurse to sort of do diagnostics and pharmacy for the moment. Um, we need janitor to just clear up. Right, because we've got water piling up absolutely everywhere. Um, so it's happening again. So this person, I'd like them to sort of work, yeah, on these things. We don't actually have any toilets yet. Right, let's just calm down. It is required. So what we're going to do is build this. Well, I've got a huge list of things that need to happen in my head. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay. <laughs> um, I would like to leave. No. Do you know what? Shall we just shove that straight? I'm just wondering. Actually, toilets. Let's let's pop the toilets in. Yeah, let's cancel that. Let's put the toilets in now. I forget how big they are. Let's go to my templates. Um, let's basic. Yeah. Let's pop the toilets in. Now, the toilets need little radiators. The, the small ones. Look. There, there we go. Look, we've got Prem de la Creme's dog painting and look, the clock. The personal best clock, right? Why well, do you remember how important the personal best clock is? I do, right? Okay. Um, also, I'd like an over the top piece of artwork. Mm. Yeah, like this, right? Actually, let's stick it there good good right now we can put the pharmacy in now I, now I feel good uh, about the pharmacy so let's pop that in here okay now with the pharmacy we need one of the bigger rads there. okay good right good um, now, we probably should stick a Benny out here as well. Good. Okay. Right. A thing is happening, right? Think Things are happening. 
Alright, we've got a lot of patients to get through. We're probably going to have to get some training uh, going. Oh, look. Oh, he's grumpy. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? But we might have to risk him because he's 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 good to train, right? He's, he's good to train. So what we might do... Don't you dare <laughs> go in there, sunshine. Don't you dare go in there. Um, so what we're going to do with him... We are going to build a training room straight up. It's Nurse, time for training. Basic training room. We're going to pop that there. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Pop that there. Now, now I would like him to be trained in general diagnosis. In terms of staff, right, we do have a driver that's trained in it. A bit problematic. Who's this coming up? Right, okay. Um, what we could do is employ you momentarily. Right, employ them momentarily. Where's you, right? Pop you in there. Yeah. Tommy Duckworth. That's that's the guy. So we will then get Dwayne Johnson here to train him. Sure. Okay. Because it's cheaper. And then we can sack him. And then because they're going to become a diagnostic person, I like to put them in the, uh, the dark green for that. Good. So... 64% it's quite low isn't it but we're gonna send them for we're going to send them anyway um, because we still get the money even if we kill them <laughs> that's how I see it so to try and deal with this queue just a, just a smidge uh, let's oh I won't they're in the toilet what I'm thinking of doing is saying hey go for treatment right just to try and help this queue a little bit, let's start smashing them out for treatment. Um, even though I have nobody to deal with the pharmacy right now. <laughs> My goodness. Anybody at all that could just I take the pharmacy. No. Running out of the doubloons. Oh no, but we still get paid. And that's the important real thing. We should storm drain. We should watch this, shouldn't we? Storm I didn't even check the name of this thing. I can't... That, oh, I've made an error. <laughs> Let's uh, storm drain. Long may it rain. Oh, here we go. Wow. It really is like a drain. Look at it go. Ah! That, well, we cured them! We got rainbows and everything. Uh, we do... What? I feel like Isabel might be broken <laughs> why are you what are you doing here what are you doing there you do not cure queue inside the room <laughs> isabel cumberland all right <laughs> what is this ward a busybody okay so we need symptomatic of overwork and common in urban business districts Patients uh, don't know when to quit. I'm a little bit like that. So what we need to do is have perhaps a mild panic attack. <laughs> what is occurring here? Um, so we need ward now. Look, I, I can't take these. We're just going to have to let our rivals deal with this. If I take on too much too quick, the wheels are going to fall off. Right, That's what's going to happen. Can we actually buy any more plots? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's good to know. Um, we have a door here, right, which makes this plot and this plot quite appealing. Now, this plot also looks like it's a bit awkward. This plot looks quite good when they could walk it here for treatment, right? They could. Now, is this, is this a ward for treatment? I'm presuming this is a ward for treatment, yeah, for the busybody. Right, okay. Right, okay, good. This, this, this is good. Um, although we've not got a lot of cash right now, so maybe we will stick in this building for the moment. Templates, please. Do we have ward? A basic ward? So basic. <laughs> okay. So we're going to pop that in there. And as you know, I am going to turn diagnostic off. This is just something I do, isn't it? You know, we just have to... Diagnostic wards are late game for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't question me. <laughs> um... 
we're going to pop this quite central because it's quite a large room. And we're going to up the staff that can work in here. Now we need ward staff. We're still we're training diagnostic at the moment. We've got no ward nurses. I think for the moment we might have to employ this person. We are going to pop them. It's getting a bit messy, isn't it? But we we, we just got to sort of go with it for the moment. So for the um, actually, let's let's swap them over. Let's swap them over. Right. Yeah, and when we've got our DOS diagnostic, in, f in fact, of oh course, fact, because we're going to make this person um, ward. Um, let's get rid of that. You will be here, right? Okay. Can you see what I'm doing, peeps? Can you see? Can, can you seize it? Can you seize it? So you are becoming treatment. Now for treatment, we like purple. Um, it's weird, things you remember. <laughs> Maintenance announcement, automated it's dispatch. another one, deaded. It's another one, brown bread. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh well. Wow, that sounded rough, the way she hit the floor there. No ghost. Oh, we got a ghost. We've got a ghost, do you want it? <laughs> Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Running out of cash. We need to process them quickly. So, we should have somebody heading. Yeah. Where? We should have somebody heading. Right, you're a driver. Right, drivers. We've been over this. Drivers. <laughs> Otherwise, they get confused. So you, ah right, okay. We need to pull you out. Right, I will help with this any minute now. Let's let this person get their meds. Eat some cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. Gubbins. Good. Take you out. Pop you in there. Excellent. We've got some training done. Okay. Right. We're, we're getting somewhat stable, right? We're getting somewhat stable. These trees are amazing. The wind is is howling. <laughs> um, also, are you another driver? You are. So we have campus jacket. That's right, yeah. Good. Right, so I think that's where we'll leave it um, for this episode. Um, good start, though. I think um, it feels like the wheels are a little bit loose. But I reckon in the next episode, we'll lock them in tight. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.